KVU meteorologist Lene Myers joining me now. Lene, I heard you tease a little bit about a change of pace, and that could only mean less rain. So in my book, that means a good thing. Yeah, you're right, Tina. And <laughs> we just have to wait for it, though. And it's like Mother Nature goes, before you get to that, we're going to give you a little more rain mm. because you haven't had enough. Right. Hard to believe it's the first day of summer. It sure doesn't feel like it across central Texas with temperatures that stayed in the 70s today. But with all the clouds and rain, they just didn't have a chance to warm up. Let's go ahead and take some look at some video from downtown Austin, and then I'm going to show you the radar. The cloudy skies just never cleared today, so temperatures really stayed on the cool side. It's not very often in Texas in the middle towards the end of June. We see temperatures reaching the 70s for highs two days in a row, but that's what we've had. Of course, with that, though, we've had the heavy rain and the flooding. Fortunately, today, we had a couple aerial flood advisories uh, in effect for Hayes, Travis, and Williamson County earlier, but th right now there's no watches and warnings. They've been very scattered showers and thunderstorms, but they've been ongoing all day long. We've seen rain amounts ranging from a tenth of an inch all the way up to a half an inch in areas like Marble Falls. Here's a look at the radar right now. We're going to zoom into where we're seeing some of the heavier pockets of rain and still producing anywhere between a half an inch to an inch in an hour's time. The good news is these aren't a slow move. They're moving pretty quickly, so most of us are not going to get a full inch of rain, though some spots could potentially see that much rain fall. And we're still getting a little bit of lightning, so if you're headed or if you're around the, uh, the Round Rock Express game, I know it starts at 7, I think you'll be clear, but we've got another round coming in that could affect you by the time you get maybe to the fourth or fifth inning. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Also seeing a shower popping up right near Henley, but this is what I'm watching. For tonight, and it's this uh, this kind of round of showers and thunderstorms that are just coming in, zooming back in from the south. This happened last night too. It's breaking apart a little bit, but it does look like it's eventually going to reach our area. So I still am expecting more heavy rain, more lightning is possible, even some gusty winds up to 30 or 40 miles an hour. Not out of the question. Not severe, but something we're going to watch. Here's our hour by hour forecast. Here's how the weather uh, models are handling it into, say, the Hayes County area by about 7 o'clock, and then making its way into parts of Travis and Williamson County by about 8.30. So again, we have this moving up. It may not stay super strong like it is now, but it's enough to give us more rain heading into tonight. This is what it looks like outside right now, those clouds darkening up, and we could still see a little shower pop up before that big round of storms moves in. So definitely a lot that we're watching as we head into today. Temperatures have warmed up a little bit. 84 now in Austin, 83 in Lockhart, 87 in LaGrange, but take a look at the Hill Country, who's been under cloud cover most of today, only upper 70s for Fredericksburg and Blanco. Winds coming in out of the south between about 5 and 15 miles an hour, keeping the humidity and keeping the moisture and keeping the molds high. So that's our allergy count for today. You can check our forecast every day in the Austin American Statesman. Here's that little system. Look at it running up. It's a fast mover down here. Kind of just a bit of energy that's continuing to push up. Now the good news is as we head into tomorrow and the next few days, high pressure is going to be getting to build way out west. What that will eventually do is stretch over into our area and that will allow for a more stabilization of the atmosphere, which means the thunderstorm chances are going to have a hard time, harder time forming. Now, we still have moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico all of this next week, but I think with the fact that high pressure is starting to build back in, that's going to give us some opportunity to settle the weather down, dry out a little bit, and definitely warm up, making it feel more like summertime. Tonight, mid-70s. Watch for those showers after 10 o'clock. I think the patchy fog will begin to develop tomorrow. I'm only taking it down to 20%. That's it. In fact, the next few days, down to 20%. Now, we said this at the beginning of the weekend, and we had to bump them up. But really, this high-pressure ridge is going to start to build in, getting very strong Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so I think by the first part of next weekend, we'll just take rain chances out of the forecast completely. But temperatures are going to warm up. We're going to be in the mid-90s by the time we hit next weekend. So... Kind of the good with the bad. My lawn is loving it, but I have to say my husband hasn't been able to go outside and actually cut the lawn. You have to mow every taller three taller. days now. I know. It's I know. Well, hopefully next week we'll just we'll get a break. We'll get a chance to dry out. Everyone gets to go to the pool. We need some sunshine. Yes, we do. We do. All right, Lene. Thank you so much. And speaking of grass and weird conditions, <laughs> not so great here for golf, but they are playing it up in the Northwest, and they've got yes. some issues with something else, right? Yeah, you would think they were playing in Scotland at the uh, British <laughs> Open. While Jordan Spieth and the rest of the U.S. Open field struggle with the conditions of the Chambers Bay links out west, the Longhorn football team helped those struggling in Wimberley. Oh, it's terrible what happened out here, so uh, why not help? Charlie Strong and the Horns gave some flood victims a helping hand. That's coming up next.